Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another uh, quick beginner's tips and this one uh, it's bordering on getting a little bit more advanced but today we are talking about pipes and in particular uh, the throughput of pipes. So what is throughput? Throughput is the amount of fluid uh, done in units per second because it's it's factorio so it's not an exact scale of like liters per second uh, it is units per second and it is the yeah it's the amount of fluid that can travel through and uh, the reason why I brought this up was I am constantly seeing on reddit uh, specifically around nuclear power uh, there's always a question on why is my nuclear power setup not working why are these end um, end turbines not getting any steam and invariably the answer is throughput um, so when you're setting up a nuclear power uh, you get your ratios of the number of turbines, the number of heat exchangers, and the number of, uh, of offshore pumps to supply the water to your heat exchangers. And that calculation relies on the output of, it, of an offshore pump, which is 1,200 units per second. Um, if you have a pipe, number of pipes connecting that to your, from your offshore pump to your boiler or heat exchanger, sorry, uh, that is greater than 1,700, you actually end up with less throughput than 1200 units a second so you don't get enough water in your boilers you don't get enough steam into your turbines and the end turbines don't work um, when you're looking at this this web page is well it should be your bible this is the definitive answer on how much throughput you get for any amount of uh, pumps pipes tanks whatever and as you can see the the absolute maximum if you just go pump 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 uh, it is 8,400 units per second. As soon as you add a tank into the equation, it drops down to 6,000. Um, you can go pump to tank is 8,400 for whatever reason. It's a bit quicker. But if you go pump to tank, tank, and then to another pump, you're limited by this 6,000. Uh, pump to boiler, again, another 6,000. Uh, you add one piece of pipe in between, still at 6,000. Put in a second piece of pipe, it drops all the way down to 3,000. Uh, and then the magic number here is 17 pieces of pipe. If you have less than 17 pieces of pipe between a pump, offshore pump, boilers, whatever, uh, as long as there are less than 17 pieces of pipe, your throughput is 1,200 units per second, which matches an offshore pump. That's it in a nutshell. Um, I did set up a little bit of an example uh, so that we can see what is going on. Let me bring that up right now. There it is. All right. So here we are. We're in creative mode, uh, creative mod, creative mode mod, oh, whatever. Uh, but we have this fluid source, which is just an infinite fluid source set to water. And then we've got our five setups here. So this first one is all pumps. So pump to pump to pump. That's your 8,400 max throughput. Uh, the next one we have pipe to tank, uh, pump to tank, tank to pump. So this one's limited to your 6,000 uh, because of the tank to pump. Then we have one segment, again, 6,000. Then we have two segments of pipe in between. It drops down to your 3,000. Uh, and finally, we have our 17, 17, section, 17 pieces of pipe. Pipe segments, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a power source, uh, infinite power source, of course. And these things will start and we'll see the tanks fill up over on these indicators over here. So there we go. Straight away we see our top one obviously the fastest. These two pretty much the same. And our one here again, all the way down here. You can see how much slower this actually is. And this really highlights the issue here. Um, the, more, the more of this you, uh, the more pipe segments that you add, uh, the slower it gets. And it does... It does sort of taper off if we bring up our fluid system uh, web page again. Uh, as you can see, after that, you sort of got to get to like 200, 800, 1,000 before it kind of drastically drops off. So you don't need to be too worried about... Uh, sorry, minor technical glitch there. You don't need to be too worried about... Uh, once once you're over 17 it's, it's sort of negligible um, up until you get to really just massive sections of, uh, of pipe um, one thing to remember though is 
that underground pipes only count as two segments. So that is two segments of pipe, and that is two segments of pipe. So as you can see, if you're doing uh, pump with two segments in between, so you get your 3,000 uh, fluid units per second, uh, you can actually use much less uh, much less pumps uh, by having maxing out the distance of your underground pipes. And uh, yeah, it, that, that's handy if you want to sort of minimize your resources because pumps, well, A, they use a bit of power and B, they, they take, I think they take a, uh, a regular engine unit to create from memory. Uh, here we go. Yes, they do take an engine unit and steel. Well, there you go. Uh, some of those resources can be scarce early on. Uh, so that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on this down below. If you've run into this problem before, I hope this helps you get your head around uh, what's going on with the throughput of pipes. Do let me know in the comments below if there's any other sort of problems that you've seen that you'd like some help with, and I'll see if I can address them in another video if enough people have the same problems. Um, otherwise, have a look through the other beginner tips that are on the playlist. Again, links down in the comments in the uh, description below. Uh, otherwise, if you want to watch a bit of Let's Plays, I've got currently playing a Bob's and Angels run. Uh, that is quite the ride, that one. Uh, lots of stuff to do and lots and lots of products. Otherwise, I've got I've got beginner series, I've got Mega Base, there's Death World. Uh, if you love Factorio, do check it out. And of course, if you love the videos, do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.